Hello, my name is Tomasz Poszetek and I just wanted to make this short video as a follow-up to my stream with Samuel that has been live uh, last Sunday. Yeah, I mean today, just like 10 minutes ago. So during the live stream, I wanted to show you a demo of uh, a whole solution that was built on top of AI Builder, scanning invoices, then uh, approving the invoice and then sending uh, the adaptive card to teams for approval. And then once the invoice was approved, uh, I, I, I wanted to use the UI flows to first convert the, the currency from dollars to euros and then to trigger another UI flow that was actually triggering green automation that was executing um, steps on the Contoso invoicing legacy application and actually storing the information from the uh, invoice into that application. And well, for some reason it didn't work. There were issues with connections and then there were issues with some other settings between the Power Automate and Power, uh, Power Apps. But well, it just took me like 10 minutes to make it work and I checked it's working. So right now I'm able to do this follow up. So long story short, there is a power application that is used to uh, upload a scanned uh, invoice and then the scanned invoice is going to be analyzed by the AI Builder, which is trained to recognize fields on this layout of the invoice. So there is an AI Builder model built to recognize those invoices. And then once I switch from the display into the display with uh, the recognized fields, we can see that actually the AI Builder has, um, uh, uh, it has recognized several fields with almost 100% of the confidence everywhere. So that's cool. Now, once I hit send for approval button, it will actually trigger this flow uh, that first receives all the variables and then it parses the JSON from the, uh, from the table because this kind of information here is just a table data. So it is parsing this JSON and then for each is just concatenating rows of an adaptive card. And then finally, it generates the code of an adaptive card. Once it is generated, yeah, it's long, it's long, I know. If we had working adaptive cards templating language in Microsoft Teams, it would be much easier to actually complete this scenario. But that you can watch on my YouTube channel how it would work if, if the templating was working in Teams. Um, but so far it doesn't, so we need to do it manually and, and this way around. But then once this uh, JSON for adaptive card is generated, it is being sent for, uh, let's say, approval using this action that is called post adaptive card to Teams channel and wait for a response. So as long as anyone from the channel, let's say accountancy channel, uh, says approve or reject on this card, then this action is pending. Once the action, well, once the uh, invoice is approved, actually, then there is a confirmation mail sent, and then the two UI flows being called. The first one is converting the currency from dollars to euros using the uh, UI flows for web, and then the second one is actually calling the UI flows for desktop, which only action is to call, uh, is to prompt, is to open the command line window and type in a command to trigger an automation process that is actually getting the information I'm passing here from the command line and using them to input in wind automation. All right. Oh, and one last thing. One, once the wind automation process is completed, so let me show it here. So once the wind automation process is completed, then it is calling another power automate that is triggered on the web request that is actually going to receive the ID of the generated invoice, of uh, the generated record in the Contoso invoicing application. All right, so are you ready? Let's roll then. So I have uploaded it, analyzed, and now I'm sending this for approval. Now I can see that the UI flow, sorry, that the Power Automate has been triggered. It is running. Um, yeah, there is already an adaptive card sent to me with all the information. Well, some information was not recognized properly. So possibly the very good idea would be to put somewhere here, for example, a button to open an original file. 
so that the accountancy can verify the information displayed here. But for most of the cases, those quantities numbers are being recognized properly. But let's say, okay, I have this original document as an accountant and I can say, yes, I do agree. So I approve it. And this way actually, yep, confirmed. This Power Automate now is going to the second step where it is sending me an email. And as you can see, triggering UI flow. So first it is triggering the UI flow for the web to convert the currency and and um, it is converting the currency cool and then the second step just in a short while uh, is going to be to trigger the command line and then type in the command to trigger win automation so in like three two Come on, don't put me down. Don't put me down again. And yep, and there is a command line. And now we can see that uh, UI flow is actually starting to type in the command to trigger win automation. Come on. There it goes. and all the information from the invoice, right? From the scanning invoice from the AI builder. Yep, and the current converted value, converted currency. And so now we can see in the bottom right corner here that there is the win automation uh, information. It's really doing that extremely fast. And it has completed, in just 10 seconds, it has completed uh, the, whole, the whole recording. So that was done. And now once I navigate back to this flow being triggered by the HTTP request, you can see that 11 seconds ago, it has been triggered and it has received, okay, um, this number of the invoice. So this way it has been done. So this is how this, this demo should work. And actually this is how this complete process of registering a new invoice, approving it, and then storing it in our legacy application can work. So. I hope the next time it is going to work. It work fine without any issues. Um, yeah, I think that the best the best thing you can do right now is to subscribe to my channel where I will be posting more of these videos of the how tos and all the tutorials. And I really hope that you like the the streaming that we've done with Samuel this evening. And yeah, until next time, subscribe, thumbs up, and if you have any comments, simply put them in the comment section below the video. Thank you again very much. Bye.